Did you know if you win the lottery over six hundred dollars that you can deduct the amount you spent in um, lotto tickets for that for the the calendar year you won in? So say for instance you won a thousand dollars on a ticket, and if you spent more than a thousand dollars in tickets for the in that year you won it, you don't have to pay any taxes at all. So your um, taxable income would be zero dollars because you could write everything off and get the entire thousand dollars. But if you say, for instance, you the only ticket you ever bought was that thousand dollar winner, you then you couldn't really re reduce anything in taxes, and you'd have to pay whatever tax rate. I'm just using thirty percent as an example. You'd have to pay three hundred dollars in taxes, so you'd only get seven hundred dollars after the after taxes from a thousand dollar win. And if you won $10,000 and you were able to prove that you spent $5,000 in scratch-off tickets, then you can reduce your taxable income down to $5,000. So you would only have to pay your uh, taxes on the $5,000. In this example, 30% of $5,000 is $1,500. So you would get $8,500 from that $10,000 win, as opposed to $7,000 if you didn't write anything off. But the bigger the prize, the less valuable the write-off is. Like if you hit a million dollars, um, that's a million dollars that you would get to keep. So you probably, if you hit a million dollars, you probably want to get a million. You, maybe if you hit 1.5 million, they give you a million or something like that. But say you you were able to to get one million dollars from the lotto somehow, in in a win, um, and you can write off say only $5,000, which is a good amount of money for anybody, but say that's all you can prove that you bought in tickets, 5000 So your taxable income would only go from $1 million down to $995,000. So you would end up getting $701,500 after taxes with that write-off. But if you didn't write anything off, you would get $700,000. So... It's not much of a difference. It's still $1,500, which is pretty good. But uh, I just thought you'd find this chart interesting because I think some people don't even realize you can write off any winnings when you hit the lotto. Um, thanks for watching, and let me know in the comments what you think of this. Talk to you later.